Hey, you guys. So listen, I didn't want the video to be so short. I've already glossed up the little strawberries that, well, they're not little, the medium size or medium strawberries. But now I thought, well, let's go ahead and do a small pair. Y'all can hear my family in the background. Happy Mother's Day to you guys, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and paint a little pair just so there can be a baby pair to go with. It could maybe be a mother-daughter pair of strawberries. They are so cute. And I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna go back and buy from Michael's from the tour we did the other day because there was some stuff there I wanted, but I just need to figure out what that is. And so I'm using the same red paint, but I'm probably gonna make these, keep these a little brighter. I'm gonna show you the dimension that we did on the one that has the shiny on it, which I'm gonna, I may make this one shiny too. I'm not sure yet. What are y'all doing for Mother's Day? I had breakfast. We sat outside and ate, which I never sit on my patio because I don't like bugs, specifically worms. There are none out there, but <laughs> at least I didn't see any. So we had a great breakfast. And then I was like, oh no, I need to get in here and finish the strawberries. So we're going to do a baby strawberry pear just because I was like, the baby cow pear is super cute. So. Sorry, I could probably hear my husband talking. We're going to see his mom today, which is only like 20, 30 minutes away. Miss Marie. Yeah, I felt like a bug was on me. I'm trying not to freak out. Okay, so we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this one dry. And of course, we're gonna do two coats just like we did two coats on the other one. Super cute, okay. So while these are drying, plus we need to go ahead and paint the back. So I'm gonna do that because the front's already finished and this is gonna be a pierced pear. They're both gonna be pierced strawberries, I believe. We may do the um, the little ones to be a hanging pear. I'll decide once we get further into them drying. So I'm just putting the same pretty red color on the back. And I'm gonna show you on the other one how by adding the extra colors of red paint, it gave it some dimension. Let's finish with this right quick and sit that down. Of course, you can use your pokey tool to hold this. I didn't because I was just doing it really quickly. So super cute. So we're gonna sit that off to dry. Y'all gotta make sure there's no bug on me. I was feeling like there was a buggy or something. But look, I don't know if you can tell or not, but see the darker red highlights in there? That gave some dimension to the strawberry and the dimensional, the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. I love this stuff. I think it helped with that. It dries so clear. I think that you may like resin better, but I just don't have the time for resin to dry. And I don't like the fact that it's toxic. That concerns me. I mean, not to say that this glue and stuff isn't either, but you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and paint the back of the bigger heart. And before I go, head off to get dressed and head out while we let these dry, I'm gonna put the second coat on our little hearts. So when we get back, all we have to do then is put the green part on. Yep, so all we have to do is put the little leaves on to go with the strawberry. Let it dry. And I love how fast these are to make. Remember I told you, you could make these in multiples. So I'm gonna sit these on. I have a little dictionary that y'all was sitting on top of. I don't have any type of fancy setup as it relates to design and jewelry because I don't feel like you've got to be fancy. I feel like, hey, use what you have. Even though ring lights and all that stuff, I think it's super great. I just don't have all that. Mainly because I wouldn't want that sitting up in my dining room. <laughs> right, because this I can take down, I can put it back up, like I can move it all around, make it portable, throw it in the closet really quickly, so. Yeah, do what works best for you. I hope you all are having an incredible weekend. Tomorrow is gonna be super, super busy. Are y'all having a busy week this week? So I was like, I wanted to get this done for you all because I knew this week was gonna be busy. So let's let these dry and we'll be right back. Okay, so let's add I don't know if we need one more coat. Let's just do one more red coat just to be on the safe side. 
And then we're gonna add our little strawberry greenery. I love making these. These have made me truly happy today. And last summer, remember I told you I made lemons. I think I did a video on how to make the lemons too. So that's on our statement jewelry earring playlist. So just in case you're interested in some fruits, making fruit jewelry. And since we have some red paint left, I'm just gonna do one more coat on the back of these. Now I normally don't put a finish on the back of my, um, like a gloss or whatever on the back of the earrings, but you definitely can. But I do think, I do like to finish the backs out. So you, saw, you could also do a design back there. So that way, if people can see the back of the earring, you know, it has a nice finish. You could always like, since we're doing strawberries, if we want it, we could put some extra dots back there. I may do that just so it finishes out really nicely. I don't know, today I'm interested in getting paint on my hands. So sometimes I don't want to get paint. I do see people that design jewelry online, they wear gloves and I was always like, why are they wearing gloves? But they probably don't want to get their hands messed up. So, be right back. Hey, you guys. So, you may hear my husband in the background talking to his mom, but I was like, I want to go ahead and work on these strawberries. So, I painted the backs of the little baby strawberries, and they're drying. So, then all we have left to do is to put the green stems and the, stock and the dots on the front. So, now I'm putting the backs on the larger pair. So, I'm putting the backs on the larger pair, and now we're just going to take off the excess glue. So we're just putting the backs on these and y'all have the best mother-in-law. She's so sweet. So we're going down there to see her. She's like everybody else's mother. Don't never know where the phone is. So we called her thinking she wasn't home and she's on the porch. <laughs> so let's take the extra glue off and look how cute those are gonna be. So they're gonna lay flat up against the ear that way, which I think is gonna be super cute. See, oh, you guys, okay, so the next design, I'm not gonna tell what it is, but it's gonna put you in mind of the 70s, like a retro style. Not telling, cause I'm just not telling. And not only that, what if they don't come out cute? But anyway, it's, God will make it cute, right? And thank you for all of you who always compliment my earrings and my jewelry is God for sure because I he just gives me these ideas and I just go with what I see in my head what I envision so look how beautiful they turned out they are so sweet so now we're gonna make the baby pair to go along with those so how cool is that if you made some mother and daughter earrings my um, 15 year old was just telling me how cat earrings and cow print is all the rage But anyway, so <laughs> so I told her, you should sell them. She said, Mom, you should make them and sell them. I'm like, how about I make them in bulk? You sell them. So still trying to talk her into doing that. So we're going to go let those dry. I'm going to go get a clean sheet of paper. Well, no, I'm not. Well, yeah, because this has glue on it. So let me get a clean sheet of paper. Up here. Hey, you guys. Okay, so we have glued the finished findings. Those are nice and dry on the strawberry earrings. Look how sweet they are. So now let's go ahead and finish up the little strawberries. We already have... The back painted. I'm, I'm probably gonna put some dots back there. I'm not sure yet. So let's go ahead and put the green tops, the leafy part to the strawberry on, which I already showed how to do this, of course, on the um, the larger ones. But let's do it again, just for kicks and giggles. And this time I didn't mix up any um, light green paint to go in here because I just wanna get these finished. So I was like, we're not gonna mix up any extra paint and it's not necessary. This has a really pretty green color to it. And so all I'm basically doing is dotting the paint in like a little V section. So it looks like a strawberry top or like the, um, the vine portion of the strawberry. So super cute. We're gonna do the same thing on this one. And you just wanna make sure you're matching them up as closely as possible so they look the same. I think these are just so sweet. 
And I may make myself a little pair to keep. I, like I said, I've not had a chance to put things in the Etsy store like I want to because business has been so busy. So hopefully I'll get to do that. Like maybe when we go on vacation, I'll just take everything with me. I'm lying. <laughs> I would like to do that, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Who wants to be working on vacation, right? So let's go ahead and put some more green paint along here. That went a little further out than I wanted it to. So I'm just gonna take this one a little more, a little further down and a little wider out on this side. Cool. Nice. I'm gonna go rinse the brush off. I got a little bit more green right there than I wanted, so I took that off. That's how they look, so we're gonna let them dry. I'm gonna do the, um, the dots while those are drying because there's no reason not to. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same yellow paint we used on the larger ones. This is the Primary Yellow by Americana Deco Arts. We're just gonna put that on. I have a little plate off to the side. And we're just gonna make dots out of those. I'll be right back. Good deal, so I'm just using the yellow and the white paint. And what I'm gonna do is, just like we did with the other one, is I'm just dipping in the yellow or in the white, taking a little bit of it off, and then just making random dots all over the strawberry. But I am being sure that once I load the paint on there to unload a little bit of it off by just dotting it to the side like that. So I don't have like globs of paint on the strawberry, but you can do your dots any size you want. They're not gonna be super huge anyway because that's controlled by the size of the dotting tool that you're using. So you, you have some control over how the dots turn out and how, what they look like. Sorry, my family's in the kitchen. We just got home, went to go hang out and spend time with my mother-in-law. We had so much fun. My in-laws are the best. They are sweet and funny. <clears throat> look, so cute. So one baby strawberry down. We're just gonna sit that one off to the side. Get this one finished up. Oh, you guys, I already have the next project of what I'm gonna make. I had already written it down before of what it was gonna be. And um, so today I was like, well, while I'm in the mood of making stuff, not the mood, but while I really have some time today, my goal is to start that making jewelry videos on, before it was gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays, but because my schedule is so tight, I'm gonna focus on doing my best to record videos on Thursday consistently that are related to creative stuff. And then my other video day will be related to real estate and insurance. Cause a lot of people have asked me about that as well. So I wanna be consistent. So I'm gonna do my best, pray saints. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so. What's wrong, baby? What happened? Oh. My baby stumped his little toe on something. What'd you step on? I don't know you okay? Need a band aid? Okay. Okay, you guys. So, I'm trying to see if I feel like I need one more little dot up here in the corner. Sorry for being quiet, just focusing on making sure these dots are nice. Okay. So I got a little bit of yellow went over on that side. You can't see it, it's real small. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of red paint right there to cover it up. So fixes are easy, so. Put some red paint right there. 
where the little yellow dot went and you can cover that up. So also as it relates to the green paint, I'm just gonna put a few more dots there as well to make sure that they match up. So I'm gonna use like a little line brush and I'm just gonna fill in where it looks like we can still see the red through here. My husband's down there watching something UFO related. He loves UFO stuff, it's loud. So hopefully it's not disturbing you too much. So I smooshed that little dot on the bottom, but look how pretty that is. So we're gonna fix our little dot down there I touched by accident. There we go. So we're gonna sit that off to the side to dry. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch this one up in its little greenery section too. I just wanna make sure they match up. Y'all did my best not to work today. I had one insurance client, but they didn't keep their appointment, so hopefully I'll be able to follow it within tomorrow, and I don't blame them. When they made it, I was like, I wonder if they remember it's Mother's Day. They probably didn't. So, look how sweet. So those are gonna dry, and then I'll be back. I'm gonna put gloss on those, I'm gonna glue the backs on them, and then they're gonna be perfectly sweet little earrings. So I'm just gonna touch the green up on the edge of the earrings in there, so. It carries all the way over. So make sure you do your top part so it looks like it carries over. So now we're gonna let that dry. I'll be back. Okay, so let's finish up the baby strawberries. We've already painted the backs. We've already gotten the fronts completed. Sorry about that, y'all. We've already completed the fronts of them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the gloss on them while we're making our other project that you're gonna see coming up. We wanna go ahead and gloss these because then that way they can dry overnight. And remember I told you, you can hold like a little pointer tool and because this has raised dots, you wanna use the nozzle just to spread your gloss around. That's what I do. So I'm not necessarily squeezing additional gloss out so much as I'm using the nozzle to spread what I am putting out. Cool. And remember, don't shake that bottle up because you will end up with air bubbles. We don't want that. So I'm just quickly smoothing everything out. You don't have to work fast. It just doesn't take that long. And having a nozzle on here really is a blessing because it pushes everything out for you. And you can work super quick. I'm gonna sit that one up there and let it dry. And then we will be back to finish those off. I love this stuff. Again, that's the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. It's super inexpensive. I want to say it's like $3.99, but I like that stuff a lot. Hey, you guys. So I'm back here to finish up the little um, strawberries. These are the small ones, and we're just gluing the backs on. And they're going to be finished, so I'm going to let gluing them on be the end of the video because you don't need to come back and see that they've dried, right? Nothing about the fronts are gonna change. Look how sweet they turned out. And remember the cow pair we made? Well, my 15 year old already took the heart-shaped cow pair. They were all the rage. So now we have little strawberries to go with the mama strawberries. So let me just push that down. Make sure they're adhering well. And then, so look, this is how they ended up. How it started and how it's going. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So thank you guys for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Part two is coming to finish up the mushroom video that you've probably already seen part one. 
I'm getting ready to add the finishes and findings to those, and then we'll be staying tuned for the next video. So be sure to like this video, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. God bless you guys.